Hello lovelies! Oh my gosh, episode 6 of the Diamond Series. Come into the studio, come in out of the cold. I'm Diane Reevely. I'm a signature designer for Ranger Industries and my brand is called Dilutions. And this is episode 6 of a series where I show you everything that you can do with my diamond range. Okay, and today we're going to be focusing on... Um, these are colour sheets, so we're going to focus in on, on the sheets, on colouring, how to protect your colouring. We're going to be adding the clear rocks on the top to give the tiled effect. And I'm going to be showing you how you can embed little op op objects. Oh, I couldn't speak. Little objects in them, OK? So you're going to need the boards. You're going to need the colour sheets colouring sheets or we can also do a bit of stamping if you don't have the colouring sheets. You're going to need some little embellishments. I use the Tim Holtz embellishments but some little things that you can pop in there. You're going to use the clear rocks, you're going to use the heat tool and colour with whatever you want to colour. I colour with my inks in water brushes but you could use anything okay and uh, we're gonna have fun all right enjoy. So I have um, these image sheets, which are like colouring sheets, image sheets. And I also do die cuts in... Oh, he might be nice. I do die cuts in various... Let me just have a look and see if... Oh, he would be good on there. I might do him. So I quite often like to use these. These are a slightly thicker card. Um, this is a Christmas one, but I also have others as well as you can see book three is great for these because they're much smaller images see they do that size and they do this but they take a bit longer to color in which is absolutely fine but i might do i think i'm going to do him and then let's i think all my samples are christmas ones so let's um just thinking to put some feet. I do like I do like putting feet on. I don't know why. I could have. I think I'm going to put his feet. So, what you do is you draw around it. You draw around your shape. Then have a look. That looks good. Let's draw around this shape. It doesn't quite fit, but that's okay. That looks good. Right, and then... So these are images that you can colour. And it's not really a colouring book. You get two of each image in. Um, it's not really a colouring book. It's I made these for when I'm on the road and I can't have my stamps and my images and things like that. And um, so I just cut them out and use them. I might cut him out. I might swap bodies. I might just use a quote. Every page has a quote. And it's more like a handy dandy little thing for me, you know, for, to have on the run. It's also great if you like my style, but you, you know, you don't want to commit to buying stamps and things yet. It's, um, you know, cool. They're really cool for those. So let's have a look at this one. And then I will use the bottom in something else. I never waste anything. You might think to yourself, well, look, she's wasting that image. No, because that bottom image, obviously that top bit will go. But this, if I cut that straight or even cut the hands, I can put something else on the top of that. I can put a body. If I take those legs off, I can put a body on the top. Can you see? Oops. If I just bend those legs up and I would cut those legs off and make something else. And if I cut that, the hands would come out. So I've got a whole new person. So I never waste anything. And then it's glue stick like yesterday. But this is card. So you need a lot more. Really, really make sure that you've really coated it. Press it on. Press it firmly so the collage was not as thick. Make sure you press it all over. And 
And the beauty of sticking something that's like the white on, if it doesn't quite fit, it's not quite in that corner, you won't know. You just will not know. Okay, and then let's trim them. And then this time I colour them first and then I sand them. And again, I make a lot up in advance. Okay, and then you can colour them with whatever you want to colour them with. I use uh, my inks in water brushes. Now you can, I'm just going to do his face a bit of a grey. You can use the, the shimmers where I showed you how to turn them into paint. You could use that, but I'm just going to use this for the face. I'm going to use white, uh, clear water goodness me and the and the gray and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come around this side so i'm going to wet it first then i'm going to add a little bit of gray then i'm going to go back in and blend that round this with the water brush then i'm going to come and do this side blend that round can always add more you'll notice i did the two sides separate because otherwise it would dry and it wouldn't blend at all that just gives him a little tinge there i think he needs a bit of a brown tooth let's have a little bit okay and then i think i am going to um make his coat Maybe stripey because otherwise it's too much of one colour. So I'm just going to add stripes in his coat and then in his the back of his coat. This is Igor, by the way. He is from the stamp set Monster Mash, but he is a die cut. When you get the die cuts, die cuts mean they're ready cut out like this. And when you get them, I have about six. They come like this, actually. Here's the pack. So they come like this and they have um, eight images in them and they have three of each design. So you can see, you can buy some of my people. Look, there's three of them. Um, I have heads. I have Christmas. I have, these are from my Munsters. I think these are my bodies. I have my peeps, my Christmas all sorts like that so let's make him let's make him a bit boyish let's give him and this is why i sand these afterwards because um i don't want to sand some of the color off i mean i don't want uh, white edges and then some of the color come off so I'd rather colour them first, like so. And then when that's dry, sand the edge so it looks more natural. Okay. So I just use my inky water brushes, but you could use um, crayons, markers, whatever you fancy using okay and then i'll just take just to color in that bit of the background there and bit in his eye. there you go and then with something like this one <coughs> i would cover color in between here they always have an outline on them So these are two different things. This is um, from the colour sheet, from the image sheet. 
and this is from the die cuts. Now, doing this check, what I'm going to do is add a colour and then just add another bit. Can you see? So you add the light colour first. Again, if you do any of my classes, all these techniques are in in a lot more detail. This is just a little preview of things that we can do. Um, I think I will give, let's colour these in. It's up to you how much you colour, whether you colour, you could leave them black and white. That also looks nice, you know, like we did the stamped tiles. That also looks really nice. I'll do this and I'm going to give him red sneakers. And these are all, um, if you get a colouring sheet, <clears throat> or a die cut that it, it was already a stamp there is an existing stamp that goes with them all okay everything like this is from mischievous malcolm this one here is from um oh gosh i've forgotten the name sunflower girl sunflower girl the, you know they were all originally stamps <clears throat> okay so let's give him some red trainers and he's done. Now you have to leave these to really sort of cure. One, the glue needs to really have chance to secure onto the um, the board. And two, if I went straight in with the dabber, it would lift all that colour off. Okay, so I'm going to sand them and you'll see. So I've got that and then I'm just going to lightly sand the edge again. Remember, 45 degree angle, lightly sand the edge to get the paper, well, the card in this way, to really go down and then there's less chance of it lifting. OK, so they're going to go to one side and then I've got two here that um, I did earlier. So I used one of the quotes from the book and I used the um, head as well. OK, so right now we're going to do them. OK, so I'm going to take, just add the dabber. And as you can see, because I've given it plenty of time to cure, the actual ink is not coming off. And because I'm dabbing, if I slid from side to side, the um, ink would run. But because I'm dabbing, that's why they're called dabbers. I know a lot of people think they're daubers, they're not daubers. Daubing is doing this, the, the dabbers. So add the powder. And then I'm going to add, do the three layers as usual. If you're new to this video, I'm doing a whole series. Go back and look at the others for instructions on how to do this. So you can see where it's melting. Okay, make sure it's hot everywhere. Look at the green eyes on that cat, amazing. I made the mistake this morning of looking at all the little cats and dogs in the shelter. Oh, I'd have them all, but I'm working away, I can't. 
So second coat. third coat now today is all about embedding now if you're going to embed i always put four coats it just really really helps so i'm now melting the third coat it just gives you that bit more depending what you're embedding in there but it just gives you that extra um hold so this is the third coat and then i'm going to put the fourth coat on the top. Make sure it's hot. So normally that would be sufficient. But I'm putting a fourth coat on. Okay. You can put as many coats as you want on really. But um, you always need minimum three. Now to embed <clears throat> I use a lot of Tim Holtz little bits because I always sort of have lots of them. I just pulled these out um, to show you. These hearts are great. The little flat back hearts. These are called hearts. Um, I've used numbers. These are called numeric and the flat back. Um, these are called story sticks. So they have a little word. And I think she needs a heart. Do you think she needs a heart, Jay? Yeah. I think I'm going to put that heart in um, and I'll show when I've done that I'll show you some others that I have actually done but these are great uh, have lots of them I've put little pen nibs in before I've put little flat back anything that's flat back okay wants to go in don't have this too near when you're doing it because this will get hot and then you won't be able to pick it up because it's metal okay so I'm going to melt my fourth layer I think I'm going to put it down here. And then I only really need to keep hot the bit down here where I'm putting the heart. Now this will be red hot, watch your fingers. So then I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to drop it in and I'm going to press it down to embed it into the hot powder. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop that to one side for now. And then I do have a couple here to show you. So this is, these are just, these are for to go on cards. These are some Christmassy ones. You can see here, this has got, I can't remember what these are called. They're, they're lovely, they're washers with little words on. And oh, oh, I've just caught the heart on. Oh, I'll show you what happens if that, what to do if that happens. Where is my number? Oh, I had one with a, oh, there it is. There we go. There's one with a number on. And then if you can see, look, the little flat back has just um, come off there. So I'm just going to add an extra layer. That's really good. So there you go. There's that one for now. OK, but these are fine. They're not going to come off. I think I knocked that one and that's why it came off. But that's good to show you what you can do. OK, you can put a little bit of glue on, but all I do is I remelt that area. If you've only got three layers, remelt the whole thing and add another layer. But I'm sure I've got, I don't know actually, this is an older one, so I'm not sure. We'll try it. And all you do is you just remelt this area. Can you see where it's starting? Is that coming up, Jay? Where it's starting to melt just in that area. So 
I'm just going to remelt all that. I'm going to take the heart. I'm going to drop it back in and press it down firmly. So you can see, you know, it's really easy to rectify any mistakes. And I can hold this because it's not, it's only hot in that area. Okay, so that's colouring and embedding little items in. I will see you next episode. If you liked this, press like, press subscribe, leave me a lovely comment and I'll see you next time.